Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. In the city of San Mateo, gonna have some sushi for lunch at a place called Masu, and it's all you can eat. The price is right. All you can eat from 12 to 3, then go check it out, and have some lunch. Decisions, decisions after we eat sushi, because right behind me is a Baskin Robbins, and across the street, is it quickly? And what do I want? Do I want boba or do I want ice cream? I don't know. Just hope it doesn't rain. All right, just came from Masu, and if you can see the sign on the window, all you can eat for lunch. And man, we ate all we can. I am stuffed. And they want to get Baskin Robbins and get some ice cream. I don't think I have room for that. I don't think I have room. And they actually went in to Baskin Robbins to get some ice cream. I am stuffed enough to where I can't eat anything. Nice, cold, breezy day in San Mateo. Gonna head over to Burlingame. We are due for some facials. So that's where we're headed. What the hell? Is that a dog in the back of their car? Facials is done. And if you haven't had a facial before, it's the first time I ever had a facial. I actually enjoyed it. Don't judge, don't judge. I enjoyed it, it was cool. Uh, went to Massage Envy over in Burlingame, went to an esthetician named Bree. Check her out, she's really good, she explained everything. She touched on everything, what I need to do, and I guess I have sun damage. I blame the Anaheim weather for the sun damage. So yeah, so check it out. Gonna pay our respects to the man upstairs again. It's Palm Sunday, so see you guys after church. All right, church is over. We just had some dim sum, some really good dim sum this time, not like the last time we had. So just gonna chill this Sunday, enjoy the weather, enjoy family time. And someone just farted. One of these two back here. Downtown San Francisco, look at all the tall buildings around me. This is what downtown is like. Gotta go handle some business over here and then figure out what, what else we wanna do on a Sunday afternoon. Well, we are in downtown San Francisco. These buildings are tall. And look behind me right over there. It's the pyramid. It used to be the tallest building in San Francisco, but now with the construction of the Salesforce Tower, that's gonna to be the biggest building, tallest building in San Francisco. Yes, the Transamerica building used to be the tallest building in San Francisco. Then the Bank of America building were the two tallest. Now with the construction of the Salesforce Tower, that's gonna be the tallest building in San Francisco and also the tallest building in the West Coast. So, pretty cool. You can see it from pretty much anywhere outside of the downtown area. It's pretty tall, pretty cool looking. I'm almost thinking it's gonna look like a rocket ship or a spaceship because that's what it's kind of looking like. But downtown, you see nothing but tall buildings. And we're done, headed out back to our area. All right, in the city of Daly City at Ceremony, I'm in the parking because I'm not allowed to film inside. So Vita just had to go in real quick, grab some stuff for her mom. But if you look right over there behind me, I don't know if they were complaining about some of the Dave and Buses, but they had security. They had to call mall security over there. So maybe somebody was illegally filming inside Dave and Busters. Maybe, because that's what it looks like these mall security malls usually just do. They'll catch someone if they're filming and they'll bust you. So be careful. Be careful when you film at ceremony. These guys, these security, they're no joke. 
Or are they just the joke? I'm not sure. How pretty is that view behind me? See all the Brisbane right over there. You got 80 right over there as well. You got the bay. You can see as far as Hayward. You see the San Mateo Bridge way over there. You see Hayward, some of the Oakland Hills. But I'm in one area that is no longer here, but still has relics of what used to be here. The old Candlestick Park. No longer here. Pretty sad. A lot of history in this stadium. We had, what, five Super Bowls, one World Series, well, two World Series, I guess. No, one World Series. Only the 89 World Series happened here that I can remember because in 2002 the World Series was moved over to AT&T Park. Check it out. Old Candlestick Park is completely gone. This used to be the Gate 1. Entrance is the candlestick. We drive through here, and then right behind me over here is the parking lot. And over there in the distance, you can see gate two, but this used to be all parking lot right over here. And then up there, where it looks like, not really sure what they built up there, but I'm gonna try to go up there in a minute and see what's up there. But up there used to be the park itself. That mountain right up there, that's a video of Santana during Monday Night Football playing his famous, um, one of his famous songs. I think he was doing the Monday Night Football theme, but yeah, he's standing on that mountain right up there. Pretty cool, pretty cool shot, because you can see Candlestick. And I'll tell you right now, man, ever since the Niners left Candlestick, it's haunted them. Moving over to Santa Clara, new billion dollar stadium. You have a billion dollar stadium, but you have a poor team. That's the only thing that's terrible. When they were here, they had history. And, you know, you'll, you'll always see people wearing shirts that says forever stick, forever candlestick. And this is where we are, and this is all that's left. And right behind me over here is the old sign that used to tell you what, you know, who was playing who. This was the main gate. This was gate four. This is the main entrance into Candlestick. You would see like who the Niners are playing, who the Giants are playing. They would have it right up there on the marquee going across. And there's a big sign there that says, please arrive 75 minutes prior to kickoff because the traffic along Jamestown right here gets really backed up. And plus they got to do a security check and there's a lot of people that tailgates. And if you've never been to a football game before, tailgating is big and it's definitely big here. But look what's left of Candlestick right over there. It's just this mound. I, I'm not really sure what it is, but probably they're probably gonna put the buildings up there or what they're looking for, but I don't know. But that's Relic right there. I hope they keep that sign. I hope they don't take it out. Hope it's still there. And it's funny because the back of the sign still has the old welcome to candlestick security checkpoint the new nfl policy bag check in place only nfl apparel bags admitted pretty cool it's still there they never took it down and i hope they never take it down all right i drove to the top and if you look right here it demolished it. There's nothing left that shows that candlestick used to be here besides those gates that I showed you earlier. Nothing left. Look at that. Pretty sad. A good San Francisco history is gone. So now we got to go to Santa Clara, AT&T Park. Is that direction to go watch the Giants? AT&T Park is nice. I kind of wish they kept the Niners here, but you know, I'm not a billionaire. Couldn't find a way to keep them. But it is what it is. But take a good look. Candlestick Park is no more. And look at that sign right there. Welcome to Candlestick Park. This road right here. 
This is called Giants Drive. Probably when the Giants lived over here or were, played over here. But yeah, you can't see anything anymore that used to remotely show candlestick. Look down there. Nothing. Nothing down there. Just a bunch of rubble. Candlestick is gone. Pretty cool. Again, San Francisco history is taken away from corporate greed because Santa Clara can build a billion dollar stadium with top of the line everything where San Francisco, they demolish it. They said they're gonna build an apartment complex and maybe even a mall over here. But if you've ever been to Candlestick and you know the area that it's in, apartment complexes and a mall, it's not the best area to do that. And if you've been here, you know what I'm talking about. But it's sad. It's sad that all we have is relics and signs that says, welcome to Candlestick. Used to be home for the 49ers, used to be home with the Giants. And now the Giants are still in San Francisco, 49ers are in Santa Clara. Now this spot right here would have been the perfect spot for them to build the Warriors Arena. I don't know why they didn't pick that. And again, I don't make billions of dollars, I don't make choices like that. But that would have been cool if they did that. But it is what it is. Candlestick is gone. And that's pretty much it. Alright guys. It's a nice little weekend. Weekend is over. I'm going to end the vlog at the end of Candlestick. Vlog is ended guys. Go in peace.